How's it going, everybody? It's Johnny Parker from That Hashtag Show with another comic book review for you. Today, I'm reviewing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 28. This issue takes place in after issue 27, and we're still in the middle of the Shattered Grid storyline. The Power Rangers team is split up, going to different areas of time and space. Jason and the Red Samurai uh, Red Ranger, the female one, have decided to go to Corinth and get Dr. K to kind of get her help to uh, get the technology they need to protect everyone's power throughout time and space. Zack, Trini, and Billy have gone forward in time to drag his like, main timeline, and they're going there because apparently the coin list have come up with a plan to actually save the day and take out Draken for good. So they've gone to give their assistance. Now, Kimberly and the Pink Time Force Ranger have been flying all throughout time with the Pterodactyl, picking up different rangers here and there and rescuing them so they can help build up a fighting force to take down Draken. Now, let's get to today's issue. Now, today's issue starts off with our two Pink Rangers, Kimberly and our Time Force Ranger flying throughout space in the pterodactyl rescuing different teams. It's really cool because as they're flying around, they're having a nice little conversation and Kimberly's asking her like about time travel and how is it that she readjusts like each time period with the memories and everything like that. And we kind of get the vibe, of course, that Kimberly is still trying to figure out a way to rescue Tommy, a way to still save his life, which is awesome. But the pink Time Force Ranger kind of fills her in and says, look, I was honest with you before. There's no way we can go back in time to save him. And even if we did, it may not be the same. She uses her own fiance Alex as an example of that um, after he returned he, how he was the same person he was before this is also a nod that Carl Higgins includes that's a nod to the Time Force series that kind of like brings a nice little connection between the show and the comic book as the Pink Rangers are going throughout time and space rescuing people, one of the people we see them rescue is Astronema, which is part of the Lost Galaxy Rangers. I super fanboyed out over this. Astronema is one of my favorite Rangers, and then she had one of the best storylines of all time in Power Rangers space, and then we get to see her come back and be a member of the Power Rangers team. And so it was really cool to see her be part of this. Now, I will be honest, though. I was disappointed because she didn't really say anything, and so I'm hoping that in later issues of the Strategy Grid storyline, she uh, plays a bigger role. Here, they use the excuse that she was injured, so, again, I'm hoping that she plays a bigger role in the storyline. as you get to hear her say something. Another cool moment that takes place with the Pink Rangers is when we go aboard the Pterodactyl, we see that it actually has like a cargo bay, and we get to see Rangers from all the different teams that are on there, people that they've rescued. We, still a little, we see a little bit of Power Rangers from Power Rangers Dino Thunder. We see some Power Rangers from Lightspeed Rescue. Um, so it's really cool to see like all of these different Ranger teams together, even when we see the Mega Force Rangers. It's really awesome to see them like all together being rescued by these Pink Rangers. So it's really cool to see that they really are going throughout time and recruiting a fighting force to help take down Draken. Jason is on Corinth fighting with the Power Rangers RPM Rangers, and they're holding their own pretty much against like all these like evil Rangers that we're seeing popping up, the Psycho Rangers, the evil force from SPD. They're pretty much like holding their own thus far, which is pretty cool. Now the whole thing is, is they're fighting. They're trying to convince Dr. K to leave Corinth because they need to go and help all the other Rangers throughout time and save their powers. Dr. K is like, no, Draken fears me, so let's put some more fear in him. Let's stand our ground. Let's protect the city. Now, all in all, I can see where Dr. K is coming from, and honestly, this is the only time I started to question why Jason and the Samurai Red Ranger came here, because honestly, to me, it doesn't make sense. Like, if you know Dr. K is a scientist and she's developed this technology, it seems like the obvious choice to come here would be Billy, because even if Dr. K didn't want to leave, cool, you stay, do you, boo. All we need Billy to do is just learn how to do this from you, and he can bring it back and rep clay it all throughout the morphing grid. And so it's kind of, kind of weird that they chose to send Jason and the Semi Red Ranger here, and no reason has been given yet. So that's kind of like a little flub that we see in this issue that I wish they would address to explain why they decided to do that. Other than that, though, the fight scenes that we see here are pretty cool. As we see Jason, Tyrannosaurus, and the RPM Rangers try to hold their own against all these like different Ranger teams that are popping up um, to try to protect Corinth. After this, we switch gears and we go back to that evil future where Trini, Zack, and Billy are trying to um, take down Draken and they're trying to work with the coins to do this. Now, what's really interesting is that we get a cool conversation between Zack and his future self. There was a point in time where Zack's future self gave him some advice and Zack took it and everything worked out for the best. And so Zack takes his opportunity to ask him for any other further advice. And what's really interesting is future Zack says, well, you know what, honestly, I saved the world time and time again. And honestly, at some point, I wish I had stopped and like taken a break. 
it was just really cool because like this kind of sets it up for later on we're going to do that transitional um part of where they're going to allow you know zach and jason and trina to leave the team this kind of gives more motivation to that especially for zach's character so that was really cool to see Again, I give a lot of props to the writing team of Power Rangers about filling in these gaps that the show kind of like left us wondering about. And so they're using Shattered Grid storyline to really fill these things in and flesh out these characters' backstories more. And so in the future, the rescue operation is going well. It looks like they're going to get Ninja or they take off this mind control device on them. But right when they do this, they get found out by Evil Finster or Alpha Finster. And now they're in a fight to save the, in a fight for their lives to save Ninja and get out of the base. And so... We end there and we kind of leave on a cliffhanger from the future. And then we go right back to Corinth where the Rangers are fighting against uh, all those evil Rangers. And guess who's showing up? Draken. Draken's on the battlefield now. And Draken's down on the battlefield putting in that work. But guess who shows up just in time? Our pink Rangers from the future who show up with a whole mess of like Power Rangers. Some have the powers, some don't. Now, the sad thing about this is, though, is that Draken does get a hold of one of the RPM morphers. So it looks like he has stolen the powers. And it looks like the team is being outnumbered now and they're just being overpowered. And so now they need to come up with a plan to get out of there. They're pleading with Dr. K to please leave. But Dr. K reveals why she doesn't want to leave and why they can't teleport out of there. It's because the dome city, the dome around Corinth is what's stopping this. And the only way to um, allow them to teleport is to destroy the dome, which will leave Corinth open to attack. And we kind of understand where Dr. K is coming from. So if you're familiar with the RPM series, Dr. K is the person who like created the Vengeance virus. It's kind of like on her for like all the death that happened to humanity thus far. And so she doesn't want to be responsible for more death. And so she's trying to protect Corinth as much as possible. But understanding the situation that all the universe is at stake, the, um, she tells them how to do it. The T-Rex destroys the dome. And then as we end the issue, the dome to Corinth has been destroyed. And I'm going to stop right there because the, end of the last few pages of this issue have some nice little surprises for you. So definitely want to go check out and give a read of this new Power Rangers issue. Power Rangers number 28. Now, final thoughts. Overall, this is a good issue of Power Rangers. We get some further development of the Shattered Grid storyline. We see the Rangers are starting to fight back. Thanks to the help of Dr. K, they're starting to come up with a game plan. They don't seem as helpless as they were at the very beginning of this um, story arc. So we're seeing these things develop. Now, the only thing I would say is, though, is that it does feel like an in-betweener issue. Is that we're building up to something. It is like laying down like a lot of plot because it's a very talkative issue. And even though we have some action going on, Again, there's still a lot of talking going on around it, though, further developing the storyline. Um, but the only other thing that I might critique in this issue is the artwork a little bit. Now, overall, Daniel Nanokio is doing a great job. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, but he's doing a great job with this. The only area I feel he may be um, losing some opportunities is, is like the action sequences. There's a couple cool action scenes where I wish they would focus in on the action that's happening as opposed to like the dialogue and word balloons that are going on there. For example, there's this cool scene where the semi Red Ranger comes down and like punches the ground as she enters. And she like blows all these other rangers, all these like, you know, evil minions away and everything like that. But it's a small panel where this could have been a lot larger. It could have been like so much more impactful. And so there's a lot of things like that throughout this issue where they kind of like miss those opportunities. That would be my only critique. Again, the artwork is still amazing. He's doing a phenomenal job. I just wish it would come to those action sequences more. He would just kind of like break it up a little bit and give that um, those scenes room to breathe and really show impact with the reader. Like make those panels bigger, make them more impactful. Like maybe make that take up half a page. I'm not saying like full like you no know, two page spreads or even a whole like page and everything like that. But when we get some cool action scenes, you kind of need to let them breathe a little bit. Other than that, though, I highly recommend reading this book if you've been reading the Shattered Grid storyline, because, again, we are seeing that the Rangers are starting to fight back, and we do see that this is building towards something. So, again, I understand why there's a lot of talking going on, because this is one of those building issues that's leading up to something pretty awesome. So, it still gets my recommendation. Go and check it out as a Power Rangers fan. Go check it out as a comic book fan. It's still cool, and, again, it looks like we're on the road to something awesome. So, great job to the team, Kyle Higgins and Daniel, and everybody else who's working on this. Time for a reading recommendation. So after reading this current issue of Power Rangers, I started asking myself, what are some of the best time travel storylines I've ever read about in comics? And one thing came to mind, and that was The Flash. For anybody that knows, The Flash has always been a speedster that's gone throughout time and space on wild adventures. But one of his best storylines didn't actually feature Barry Allen. It featured Wally West.
See, in the comics, there was a point in time where Wally, where Wally West was the Flash because Barry Allen died. It happened, went on for about 10 to 20 years. And during this time frame, Mark Wade was the primary writer on the Flash. And he introduced a lot of great mythos to the Flash origin, including the Speed Force. So a lot of these storylines that we see happening on the CW show actually came from the Flash comics when Wally West was the Flash. Now, for our reading recommendation. One of the Flash's best storylines that features time travel is a story called Race Against Time. It's when Wally gets lost in the Speed Force and had plunged through time, and he keeps dropping off in points in Flash history that are significant to like the Flash's legacy. During this time, Wally even meets Barry's kids, the Tornado Twins. Now, what's really cool is, though, if you just finished watching the last season of The Flash, towards the end, they introduced Nora Allen, which means that Barry's twin kids may be popping up, including their kid, Barry's grandson, Impulse. So if you're a fan of Young Justice, you get a quick glimpse at Impulse, so you never know, we might get to see more of him as well. Now, Racing His Time is an awesome storyline with amazing artwork and a great story written by Mark Wade. I'm going to put a link down in the comment box below so you guys can check that out. So again, if you want to read some awesome Flash, take a look at Mark Wade's run on the Flash, especially the Race Against Time storyline. It'll give you some hints at future Flash storylines happening on the TV show and kind of like give you some things to look forward to. So... That's another comic book review for you. Please let us know in the comments what you thought of this latest issue of Power Rangers. Please let me know what you thought of Battle Angel Alita or what you thought about The Flash if you ever got a chance to read that Mark Way storyline, Race Against Time. I'd love to hear your comments below. Again, thanks for tuning in. And remember, keep checking back with that hashtag show for everything trending and keep pop culture news.